Hello, everyone. Dr. Mandel here with you. We are live here streaming through YouTube, and I have something really exciting I want to share with you. Quite an astonishing study. It's about a scientist or studies, which I'll explain all about this more in depth, that one minute of this kind of exercise is equivalent to, wow, 45 minutes of jogging. Well, let's discuss this particular study because this is going to catch a lot of eyes. We know that the importance of exercise is abundant. We know it decreases blood pressure, increases endorphins, uh, keeps us younger looking, helps our skin, helps our mood, decreases stress. It goes on and on and on. Let's go. Let's move right towards the stuff that we want to hear about okay right here one minute of this kind of exercise equals 45 minutes of jogging this is what research proves let me go into briefly a little bit about this and i will come keep coming back i'll explain more about some certain exercises you can do to help get a hold of yourself that this can work for you uh this is new research this is where scientists out of mcmaster university conducted research on interval training now, interval training is the big thing today, which are short bursts of high-intensity exercise followed by periods of either rest or lower-intensity work or exercise. Now, to see how just how little you can get away when it comes to interval training for health purposes, uh, these researchers brought in 25 less than in shape young men, future studies will focus on women, they tested their levels of aerobic fitness and their ability to use insulin in the right way to control blood sugar, and then biopsied their muscles to see how well they function on a cellular level. What they did is they split them into three groups. The first group was just an ordinary person who did absolutely nothing, so we know that nothing's going to come out of that. The second group was right here, 45 minutes of continuous exercise on a bike. So generally what they did is they did two minute warm up of 45 minutes just on a stationary bike, just normal stationary bike, nothing crazy, just talking to your friend and then a three minute cool down three times a week. So that really comes out to pretty much 50 minutes, but we're talking 45 minutes just on a stationary bike. Now let's look at this. Wow. Here is what they did. This is kind of really cool. Uh, what they did here is they took these participants. They warmed them up for two minutes. Now, I'm talking about warming up, just pedaling, warming up, just nothing, nothing difficult, just riding the bike, talking to their friend next door, and nothing strenuous. And then after two minutes, they sprinted out as hard as they can for 20 seconds. And after that 20 seconds, they went back to two minutes of just calming down, talking to their friends, and then did it again for 20 seconds. So if you look at this chart right here, it shows two minutes, 20 seconds, two minutes, 20 seconds, two minutes, 20 seconds, and two minutes. If you look at all the 20 seconds, those 20 seconds comes out to one minute. And this was their study. Now, if you count the other twos, it comes out to eight minutes plus uh, tw another minute. So that's nine minutes, a total of nine minutes. According to their study, they talk about 10 minutes. I don't know where they get that extra minute, but that's okay. Now, these are the results. This is what I really want you to see. Uh, the results. The control group, as expected, had no changes. We know that those people that didn't exercise uh, didn't get any results. Now, this is really wild. The two groups, uh, we're talking about the two groups, the 45-minute group and this interval group, guess what? In both, in both of these groups, they were identical. The results were identical. The scientists found a 20% increase in cardiovascular endurance, good improvement in insulin resistance, an increase, significant increase in the cells responsible for energy production and oxygen in the muscles. This was to this is biopsies. They've actually done biopsies. Now imagine, let me come back to myself here. Imagine these two groups. One is 45 minutes, technically 50 minutes, and the other one is 
just one minute of high intensity. And from that one minute, they matched those two groups and they had exactly the same benefits. Now that is remarkable. So what does this tell us? This tells us that people don't have the time to exercise. Wow, what can we do? Well, theoretically, and this is what I want to go into right here briefly, is you can just walk and you can start doing other high intensity exercises for just 20 seconds and just walk again for two minutes and maybe run in place for 20 seconds. This is the kind of cool stuff. All right, let's just briefly go through these some of these exercises to give you a little understanding. Uh, this is the big problem is that people just don't have the time. All right, now, for example, uh, these are just push-ups. Uh, these, this doesn't mean it's just real high. You can just do slow push-ups and then maybe get into more of a high intensity. These are just basic things that you can do, like Superman, uh, for those two minutes or walk around for two minutes or do something that's not really exerting your heart for two minutes. You can get on a ball and do some light squats uh, back and forth lightly, maybe for two minutes. Uh, I'm just trying to give you some ideas and things you can do. Here's another little exercise on a plant. You can just hold it there and just have resistance. This is good for core. Uh, you can come over here and just maybe hold up on a ball for some resistance. You can actually do some push-ups in between. Uh, here is, I believe, those burpees type of things where you kind of sit up to go down, get back up. This is like a little exercise you can do. Uh, now, obviously, you can get on treadmill. You can just hold resistance like this. These are some just little things like glutes. Uh, for the glutes, for the buttocks area, to strengthen those buttocks area by just kind of doing those butt extensors like that. Uh, maybe just planks or side planks and hold it there for two minutes. I'm going to the simple ones first just so you can give an idea. Now, after that, those two minutes, you say, okay, if I'm riding a bike, I can hit it hard for 20 seconds, hard as I can. I, I can actually do these exercises, really pump up those triceps, really pump up that aerobic. Uh, you know, you can start uh, doing little uh, jumping, running in play. You can be real creative. I'm just trying to give you an understanding on what you can do for just those two minutes to keep your heart just beating, just casual, and then something you can do intense. Like these are all intense things. Uh, these are kind of cool exercises. I just thought I would pick a few out just to share it with you. Uh, or intense running if you're a runner. But not everyone can run because they may have bad knees. Uh, here's a great one. Just, just going up the steps uh, for 20 seconds. Maybe you can walk down for two minutes and just walk in place. Uh, here's another one. This is a little bit more complex for the more the vigorous athlete that may want to do the plank a little bit more intense. Uh, if you are one that likes weights, here's something you could do for your 20 seconds. You can do squats with weight on your back. Jump roping is excellent. One of the greatest things you can do for high intensity aerobic. Uh, here's another one, just uh, push-ups coming down off of a, uh, a bench. Uh, something now obviously the treadmill as we're just doing intense you can increase the, the level increase the speed uh, as well as that and here you can see some more high intensity exercises uh, when it comes down to increasing the interval but the mission here that I wanted to bring out to the people out there is that we, we don't have the time to exercise uh, what can we do to get those benefits well here it is this is the study uh, you can look for the study, if you want, it's basically the, the study states that science says one minute of this kind of exercise may be equal to 45 minutes of jogging, and there's the study. So that's what I'm here for. Uh, I'm just a vehicle to share those important things to you. Uh, I hope that you will uh, pass this video on. I hope you enjoyed it. hope it maybe gave you a little drive to say, hey, listen, you know what? This is awesome. Maybe now I can really uh, start really doing these things for myself that I never had time to do. I ask you to subscribe if you are a new uh, viewer here. Why? Check out my channel. Hundreds of great self-help videos, uh, biomechanics, posture, forward head posture, probably the most on the internet when it comes to neck ailments and issues, great nutrition. Check me out on Facebook, Motivational Doc. I appreciate whatever reviews you can leave there. And I want to thank our chatters here. A lot of people in the chat room today. I want to thank you so much. I wish all of you many blessings and lots of good health. Continue to stay proactive and we'll be here again with you real soon. Bye-bye now.